bum friend, key bum, and also dark bum. Show me the transformation. Here we go. Oh my lord, he's so cute. So this is bum friend. I don't actually have this transformation too many times on the channel, and I saw so many comments saying it'd be cool if I had him for a video. I'm also gonna take Seraphim. He's also a good friend of mine. So what we're gonna do is I can't pick up that. What the hell? <laughs> Hey, my god, bum friend, you absolute madman. Did you just solve the economics? You just crashed the marketplace. Oh, stop it. What we're going to do is that I cannot pick up any pickups that spawn on the ground. I can only take things that Super Bum decides to take and spawns new things for me. That coin, not taking it. I can't. If he spawns a coin for me, though, I'll take it then. And this would be kind of a cool look into seeing how powerful Super Bum really can be. Because the thing is... I've noticed I just I don't get super bum too often and when the few times that you do end up getting super bum You're probably already broken enough. You know, you're probably on greed mode or something, right? Just constantly buying items eventually you come across the bum print transformation I know that's how I've had it a lot in the past, but so you never really get to see are you gonna spawn more? Okay, that was a crazy drop. Uh, <laughs> holy moly. I'll take this. This will be good for bum friend moment you don't really get to see the true power of what Bumfriend is doing for your run is what I've noticed. So I think this will be a cool look. You know, I'm not going to be able to take any pickups. We're going to give it all to Bumfriend and we're going to see if it's better or worse to have him just take everything. Because he does have unique mechanics ever added since Repentance. Before he was literally just the three bums combined, I'm pretty sure. Like he, he really didn't do anything too. He wasn't that cool. But then he got a buff. A huge run because all the transformations kind of got buffed. The super bum transformation got buffed in a way that basically every pickup is doubled you saw how you picked up a key and there were two chests not just one that's why i was freaking out because i was like what so we'll keep that in mind and we'll see if everything works out for us i am realizing a cool part of this challenge that will actually make it genuinely challenging is i mean bro could just straight up spawn no keys <laughs> I, I, I could miss out on every treasure room ever if I don't get any keys on the floor. So I guess it is good that we ended up getting Basement XL. Both treasure rooms are unlocked for me. There used to be a time back in the day, it made me kind of confused, that one treasure room was locked? Wait a second, am I having a Mandela effect? Is that true or did I just make that up on my mind? I don't, I don't know. Take these hearts, bum friend, I need you. Super bomb to the rescue. Never mind. Pretty Plum is also done for. For our second boss, we get HP up. Bro spawned two black hearts. He's an absolute homie. This guy's nuts. Okay, HP? Yeah, take. I'll just roll the devil. I've been having fun with devil rooms recently. Never mind. They suck. I forgot. And it looks like we actually did encounter the thing that I was saying is, uh, I don't, I don't have keys. I cannot go to alternate floors because I, I just don't. I need bum friend to effectively like either spawn a key by picking up a coin or pick up a key that I'm not allowed to take, have him spawn a chest and then I get a, a, a key. I don't know, man. Please give me a key. Reverse card? Oh, you were so close to reverse stars. You mixed them up, bum friend. What are you doing? Oh, you mixed up the printing. Oh, it's it's terrible, huh? At least I get a freak. I, wait a sec. I did get a key. Thank you. I'm sorry, super bum. You gave me basically a free key in the sense that I got to the treasure room. Hell moment. Well, I didn't say I have to, but it's only appropriate that I do, right? Go ahead and just give me good pills. Amnesia. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, how did I not get it? <laughs> Ooh, okay, uh, maybe two times in a row is a bit too much for my heart. Get me out of here. I don't know why, but I just realized I have a whole lot of black, gray, pink, and like brown items. Do you see that on the right? I have very muted colors. There's like no red, no yellow, no orange, no purple. That was very surreal to me. I'm used to seeing a lot of colors back there. Ow, I got hit moment. At least Piggy Bank paid out with hearts, which he's gonna pick up and turn into- I just- uh, economics moment. I right, this is a beautiful. <laughs> Still no damn keys. Oh, just kidding. No, I forgot. <laughs> Oh, oh, I'm realizing the issue here. Okay, I think whenever you have Super Bum, just be aware that- No, please, just spawn it. Just, oh my god. It ain't looking good, bros. Just like, um, uh, maybe I can- uh, I don't know. I could blow my way into the boss challenge room. That's a free item. I'm worried about the treasure room, though. I haven't been able to go to the shop. I have no money. This will be useful. Can't wait for the extra black hearts. Yeah, hey. Okay, you're unkillable when you have Super Bum, but man, do you need to watch out for your keys. Boss challenger moment, uh, yeah, this is kind of beautiful. This is gonna synergize so much because we all know how broken old bandage is, right? I believe old bandage is also affected by luck. And not only this, when we spawn the hearts, I'm not gonna take them, but you know who will? That's right, it's him. 
Frail. I can't believe I remember this guy's name. I never remember Frail's name. They're definitely one of the bosses I always forget the name of. I mean, Frail just what, doesn't make sense to me. I always see this guy, I'm like, ah, it's Bony Pin. You guys know him. It's Pin, but dead. We got an angel. We have bombs so we can roll. Uh, I'll probably just take the speed up then. And earn a souls. It's a beautifully good item, but I can go for more. One thing about Super Bomb is that he does not exactly help in combat. If there were ever a bomb familiar, I think it would be cool that there would be like a mega bomb transformation where you add bomb friend and he doesn't actually take bombs. He just chucks bombs at people. He's the offensive side. Roll. Uh, these are okay. I basically have the biggest AoE effect around me ever known. I am the most holy person on earth. Planetarium. I can't wait to actually land the 20% planetarium chance, freak out, and then realize I have no keys to go inside. Uh, I, I'd love to find like a sack room or something. I mean, Piggy Bank could pay out a ton just because Super Bomb is standing there. I'm waiting for him to pay out with a key for once. I'm gonna warn these spiders right now. You probably don't want to head into my personal bubble. I call it my personal bubble of death for a reason. I unironically don't have a way into the treasure room. I'm gonna- I- I hit it here. This did turn into a challenge. This is the challenge of how do I even get inside the treasure shop. It's- it's an impossible with Super Bum Round, but he's so greedy. You thought Bum Friend was greedy? I'm sorry, did I just get dead cat? <laughs> Like, I, I should have understood the, the assignment. It's like Dragon Ball Fusions. The power is multiplied. Bum friend is literally, his subtext is like, he's greedy. If there are three friends that are bums, he's gonna literally be super greedy. Yes, yes! Oh my god, he did it! Holy, I didn't think it would ever happen in a million years. Let's check out this so juicy treasure room that has Tech X inside of it that I worked so hard for. Hello, how are you doing? Sad bombs. Uh, those are actually absurdly good. These could carry me to the end. I don't know what this pill is. Okay, I still don't. <laughs> it's a mystery. <laughs> Balls. Charged key, huh? Oh, he just uh, ate it. Never mind, my bad. Hey, I discovered something kind of stupid. Okay, hold on. Check this out. I, I believe there was a... Those are good trinkets. Or inside of here, another amnesia pill and that. No, thank you. Sure, I'll take this. Oh, wait. Never mind. I think I'm wrong. Okay, so what I was going to say is, uh, Key Bum got changed recently, or not recently, a bit ago, but he did get changed. Where whenever he picks up a charged key, he takes the key for himself, but then leaves behind a battery. Uh, this is because before he would just be a kind of a scumbag and take your charged key. Uh, I was going to say that that guy just took my charged key, Super Bum, a greed meister, and didn't leave behind a battery. But I don't think that battery was there. So I, I'm, I'm led to believe that he left a battery behind to replace it. Don't pick up the lucky penny. I hate you. You do spawn a lot of hearts, though. I gotta commend you for that. Did I use the sack room? Ah, oh, it'd be so dangerous. But the reward would be so sick. Now I think about it, right? Every time I get hit, I spawn coins, then Super Bum picks it up, and then we've seen it before. He spawns hearts, he gives me black hearts. In theory, I don't think self-sustainable, but better than losing all my hearts more than it might seem on a surface level. I'll go for it. There you go, bombs, cool. Oh my god. Oh! Hey, scapular. Let me roll this. I think these are fine, but I think I could go for way more. There you go. Roll? Yeah, those are just good. Beautiful. Exactly what I want to see. We also get these two hearts, we can recharge item. Habit? Habit. Habit. Oh man, habit. With D6, it's kind of broken. Plus, we've already proven that this is kind of a broken strategy too, just getting hit. How do we take habit? Figure out where secret room is. It's greed. That's kind of cool. I'm gonna try and use a sad bomb here. Oh my, look at the burst damage. That's so nuts. Sad bombs continues to be the goat. I spawned the angel anyway. I feel a little less special. I'm not even gonna lie, but not that much. I feel still special. Thank you. A charged beggar, hmm, and a blood bank. I mean, this seems like a perfect recipe for uh, me to get- wow, hearts, jeez, I wasn't even kidding. Bomb, you're gonna be so happy. Oh, I'm gonna get so many charges. Oh my, oh my god, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, okay, here's what I think happened. I think normal bum friend has a like 1% chance to spawn a literal item, right? And that chance is doubled because maybe, I don't know, I remember how all of his things are doubled. That's why I got two HP ups. I, I just want to roll it. I might just do it right now. Sure. Uh, those are both defensive items. <laughs> 
Those are both defensive items that just give you like a soul heart on pickup. This is the I have so many uh, I, impossible to kill build. I am the tank. Take those two keys and spawn chests with keys. Ah. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Great. It's so many angel rooms. Unfortunately, I, I don't think I have found a more useless pickup than two holy chests in a single room. I don't know if you've uh, been able to figure out the common issue with this run, but it's a big one. <laughs> Roll this. Spirit sword. Ah, I'll turn this into a spirit sword run. Please, this would be the perfect secret room. I'm so sad. I'm sorry? <laughs> Smelt. The TM trainer item, why not? That, okay, very cool. It looked like I got an HP up, I think. Keys, keys, gimme, give gimme. Give okay, thank you. Oh, I was so ready to react that time. You have no clue. I would have actually been mad. I'm sorry, what just happened? That Was that a TM trainer moment? Or was that just like me getting hit? I can't tell. I was so ready to react to super bum spawning keys that time. I cannot slack behind. I need to make sure I'm picking up what's he's physically literally putting down. Except that one. What is this? Loki. Hey, what's up? Cool. We didn't even get anything, so this makes my decision really easy. We haven't gone down in a bit, which is weird to say, because usually I do go down way too much. And this is the type of roll we were waiting for. Thank you very much. Reverse? I love finding this thing. I'm sorry. Did you spawn another reverse card? That is one thing about this dude. Also new interaction. I literally never knew in my life he can't pick up blended hearts. Good to know. I guess because they're part soul heart, right? And Dark Bomb can't pick up soul hearts. There's one thing about this dude that's crazy. He keeps spawning. He keeps spawning reverse cards. That He's so good at it. He won't stop. While this does suck as an item, it is good to know that I have an ultra secret here that I can kind of just keep using over and over reroll. And while the red pool isn't as good as it used to be, it sure is still something. Thanks for the keys, I actually need these. This is also the reason that I'm deciding to go to the dark room, by the way, because I realize keys are just going to be a ginormous issue for me. I'd rather just pay health, I mean, with the amount of health I have, I, this is just a better business decision. We'll begin rolling this. Oh, yeah, hi. Well, I wasn't expecting you. I would honestly, I didn't even realize what the sprite was, but I just noticed that I was dancing. I got mildly excited, but then I realized. Again? Uh, wow, that's actually absurdly good, and part of me wants it. But I have access to the ultra secret room. This doesn't happen often. I just gotta go for more, man. It's just gonna be more fun this way. Plus, I could play sack room, I think. Ooh, ooh. I mean, it is quality four, but it just doesn't feel like it. Let's play the sack room for a bit. I don't know. It could be fun. At this point, I could even go for, uh, I suppose, mega Satan keys, right? That could be kind of fun. Okay, so there is definitely an effect that happens when I get hit that is TM trainer related, because I'm pretty sure that's not normal. Yeah, when I get hit, I do a giant an explosion or, or something of the sort. Gee, it's like a mega blast explosion. Or just rather, I guess a Mr. Mega explosion. Bunch of health ups too, that's cool. TP me? I got the TP. I got even more items! Cool! Star of Bethlehem is absurdly good. However, I feel like it isn't even that worth it, just due to the fact that one of the greatest things about it is the tier rate up. But I don't need tier rate. Yeah! Oh, I, I left the sacred dice on from yesterday. Whoopsies. Uh, we'll just ignore it. My bad. Besides, I want the soul lock-in anyway. Thank you. And then no more items. Okay, no more items. Let's go. Don't forget to take this because I can. I have the range for it. But now I have soul locket to help me along. I guess there's also a charged beggar now, huh? There's no charged beggar familiar on top of the bomb beggar familiar kind of missing from action. Hmm. Maybe there should be five bum items just to represent the five bums showing. Hey, that's perfect. Cool. I think that'll be it. I found basically everything. It's the bloat. This guy should die instantly. Goodbye, bozo. Ah! I did get tagged by a little bit. Oh, that was kind of my fault, to be honest with you. Uh, placentas? Okay, I take it. Nothing in here. We got a lot of angel room spawning. I'm pretty lucky. Let's see what's inside this stairway that I'm gonna hate. Wait! I'm not gonna hate it because I can at least roll the key piece. Right. I can at least roll the key piece. Maybe there is something good for me after all. Take that nickel, you spawn cards for me. That's cool. I'll get some Hierophant from that. Every single time he takes money, he just turns into hearts every time. Oh, it's the one item I couldn't take. At least it's not the biggest deal on Earth, since that is a bit of an anti-synergy, to be honest with you. We'll blow this dude up for a better deal chance. Uh, Spirit Sword Revelations just does not work that well, since uh, you want to be kind of spamming as fast as you can, right, with this item. Revelations is kind of a hold item. Maybe I can kill it loose before it goes back up? That's kind of hard to do with that kind of damage. That's okay. I'll definitely get second phase though. Just kidding. Third phase moment. Another A- I'm so lucky. For real though. Uh, I might just take Jesus Juice. And by that, I mean I'm gonna roll. Uh, sure. I need flight, right? Miter's cool. And then we went 
down here. I don't want to check out the stairway to be honest with you because it could be the 30 cent item of my dreams and I can't afford it. I can't even roll the angel, so it's just a better decision to not go in there. Money brings us- oh my goodness gracious me, hold on. Money brings us the most rare drop ever known to man, the 1% bum friend transformation. Double drop in the secret room, which I use my AAA dice battery D6 to roll into glitched crown. Here we go. This is exactly what's gonna happen. I know it's so- it's gonna happen. Boom, come on. Oh, you're teasing. I'm almost there. I can smell it. And we also know, in theory, Superbomb keeps dropping a bunch of batteries, right? Like every single time he manages to find like a, a hearts or something. It's always batteries. Roll? Chaos. Oh man, those are juicy. No thanks though. I have to go for more. I mean, it's just, it has to be poetic. It has to be a Superbomb moment. I have to like say that Superbum effectively dropped like that certificate for me. That sounds so cool. I just need it to get done is all. That is actually a very cool way to exploit Superbum though. It's rare and it probably isn't something you can focus on, but it is very interesting that because Superbum spawns two items, every 1% chance he spawns an item, it becomes two. It makes it easier to rig. Pretty please? Yeah! Oh, it's been so long since I've found you. Yeah! Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, that makes me so happy. The amount of times I've had to roll the secret room. It's finally there. Let's play this damn doodly sacrifice room. Maybe we can get another TP going. And at this point, I'll probably just give myself the uh, key pieces by doing the sack room. Since we are so close to Mega Satan kill anyway. Let's go for it. I did not land the TP. Do I land maybe the item yeah. spawn? I do not. That's okay. I think we still go for it. I know our health is getting low and it's getting a little scary, but I mean, you gotta remember how many coins this guy has taken up. He's probably gonna spawn so many things. There's the black hearts. There's the black hearts. If he spawns more red hearts, we'll take them. Nope, we get a TP over here. See? What did I say? We're fine. And then roll. Yeah! Okay. Beautiful stuff. Wait for a crown of light. These are the things I needed. A, a, wow, Super Bum is gonna be super happy about this one. While he's picking up all those coins, I guess I'll just get our final key piece. We're gonna be doing a lot of damage. We don't have Crown of Light activated just yet. We have to keep that in mind. I need him to spawn red hearts uh, and whoopsies. Don't do that. And don't let him pick it back up. I actually need to pick up the red hearts that he spawns via chests or by himself because uh, I need to get Crown of Light working again. Let's take that, take that. There's a lover's here. He spawned this card, so I'm counting it. Give it to me. Crown Light's activated. Range down, I don't think is worth it. I don't know if you could have less range than what base Spirit Sword gives you. Maybe it is worth it. All I know is that we got a Satan fight. I can't believe we are like two cents off. Please don't be good. I think I should roll the other thing. No, not this. I... I... Hmm... I don't know. I... The way I see it, I'm gonna take this for Conjoined, even though Conjoined does like nothing with the Spirit Sword. And then I'm gonna save my double roll for these, because I'm sorry, that's not what I wanted! Because I wanted to see the cool items, but now I don't. Roll, uh, Matt's Kidney Stone. This doesn't even work with Spirit Sword, which sucks because I do have Rock Bottom. It doesn't work, does it? I mean, I feel like it might. Uh, I'll try it. Roll these, Lacrifigy is cool. Use Dead Bird, we'll just try and do. Yeah, oh wait, hold on. Did it work? I like turned red for a second. It's like I have- wait, I don't get it. Wait a second. Not like tier 8 would work with Spirit Sword, but I don't know. It'd be cool to have. Maybe I'm just getting red because of Lusty Blood, actually. Never mind. It just straight up doesn't work. That being said, tier 8 down for damage. That's what I want to see. Spun? Yeah, I'll take Spun. Could have it. This turned out to be really fun. Not only did we manage to get TM Trainer for a bit of goofs, we managed to showcase Superbum's power, his negatives and positives. It wasn't just all positives, aka key moment. And his positives, which are absurd positives where he spawns way too many black hearts. Not that I'm complaining. I mean, keep it this way. Please give me these keys. Wait, I should let him take keys, right? Now it's the chest. He spawns one chest. That's an item, right? My bad. You go ahead. You take those uh, the keys. My bad, Superbum. Uh, this doesn't do anything, but hey, knockback shot, I guess. Free item here. Uh, it's whatever. I think I'll just roll it. Spewer! I'm taking the HP up. Quick lamb kill, I think, right? I mean, I, all I have to do is spam my right arrow key like a madman. I'm playing Osu right now. Delirium, we don't want unless you come from Mega Satan. Let's see if we have anything else to do here. Oh, that's an item. Tech 2. 
I think it actually works decently well with Spirit Sword. Uh, whoa, what the heck is going on? Jawbreaker. I, mm, wow, I actually kind of want that short. Two diamonds for money. Uh, this is 2-3 Guppy. I don't have 3-3 three, three Guppy though. I think Tech 2 is actually halfway decent with Spirit Sword just because you're going to be spamming it so much anyway. Tech 2 is usually an item you'd hold, but since you want to spam Spirit Sword so fast anyway, it's basically like you're holding it down, right? If you kind of like look at it weird, you get a little tilt in the head, you can see it. Last item, it's a dude! Roll. Uh, wait, uh, no, no witty comment about that one. No joke, sorry. That, that's just, I hate seeing that. All right, Mega Satan time. Let's see how fast I can slash this guy's face. Ah, oh, my face! Hey, he spawned hearts for me. Thank you. Is that an AWAS? Does AWAS work in this room? I never knew. I guess I could experiment, right? We learned something new. We learned it doesn't. <laughs> this has become just the face tank build. Uh, you can't defeat me. I'm impossible to beat. I actually get delirium again a second time. Let's go. We have enough money. Oh my god, please. You you have to pay out, right? Like, you have to. This would be poetic. Just give me something cool. Yes! Another sword! It's the spirit sword lame cousin. <laughs> Bank card is going to be nice to use whenever I get the chance. Can't forget that I have rock bottom, so all these stats up are kind of stacking. They are not going back down. Lusty Blood has gone crazy because of that, right? I found the- I'm sorry. All right, we are sitting at 45 base damage from Spirit Sword. I found Delirium stupid fast, and I am playing the fastest rhythm game known to man with my fingers. My fingers hurt. The one thing I envy about controller players is that they don't have to play optimal with Spirit Sword. They can just do whatever they want. Me, I just feel like I'm not doing enough if I don't tap fast enough and give myself a uh, hernia. That's not the right word. Today I experienced wrist pain in the Binding of Isaac, so I think we had a successful day. Goodbye, Delirium. Central Bathman's a really broken item. Okay, well, Super Bomb is broken. <laughs> and that was actually fun. What a cute dude. GG.